Hi everyone. Um, so my name is Rob and uh, I'm part of the OPAC and Service Desk and today we're going to do a quick overview of the new reporting API and how it works and what it can let you do. Um, so I have a presentation here which I'll be referring to but um, some of this is going to be a live demo. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start out by looking at our reports, what they already provide, how you can use the data, go over some of the requirements of how to use the reporting API, um, which is essentially having an API key, um, discussing the, the fact that you want to use it with your account manager, and uh, some familiarity with making API calls and uh, kind of a way that you can use that data. Um, and then we'll uh, do a little demo of, of using the API. And we'll look at some of the, um, uh, yeah, some of the, some of the sort of more concrete ways you can use that. So um, let's start by looking at the existing reporting in the dashboard. So we can get to the reporting module here, and we can see um, we can see some of the resources that, uh, that that we've recently been used by users. And the reporting API specifically lets us drill into the resource usage section of the data explorer. So if I click on the resource usage section here, we can see that uh, we can see what resources um, my organization has uh, has been has been uh, users that my organization have been accessing rather. Uh, we can break that information down by the resource and uh, we can look at kind of the granularity and the start and end dates. So the reason I'm just uh, starting here is because this is the kind of um, data we're going to be accessing and, and you can see here the ways that you can already filter that and kind of uh, break it down. So uh, that's kind of, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the, the data we're talking about. And uh, the, the API is going to give you that data as a, like a flat report, as a, as a CSV file. Um, and it's probably worth starting by having a look at the data that you've got already so that you can decide how you're going to use it. Um, so that's kind of the, the tour of the reporting area. And yeah, so prior to um, doing this, you'll need to discuss this with your account manager because this feature needs to be enabled. And you'll also need an API key. You can get an API key from the admin area by clicking on the management menu and clicking on API keys, um, which is here. And uh, yeah, you can just add an API key. And you can see in the screenshot that I've added here, this is a, an API key. Uh, and this sort of a string here is what you'll need to use. Um, and yeah, as I mentioned earlier on, you'll need some knowledge of how to interact with an API and um, potentially some coding expertise to use the data you get back um, or a way in which you can connect an API to some kind of reporting tool that, so that you can use the data in a way that, that makes sense to you. So this is kind of an example API call and I'm actually gonna go over to um, a real demo here. Um, so this is um, Postman. API REST client, and I've got here the uh, the URL for the reporting data passed in my org specific uh, domain. We're going to be breaking down by resource usage, which is the only uh, type we can break down by at the moment. I've passed in the smallest number of parameters, really. I've just passed in the uh, from and to dates. We're going to break it down by resource, and we're going to use a month of granularity. Um, there are two headers you need to use. You need to use an authorization header with the OA API key um, string here and then the actual API key. And you need to have the content type set to uh, this, this value here. This is all in the docs, so don't worry about remembering this from this video. You can certainly grab this from the docs anytime you want. Um, and let's give it a go. So I'm going to make that request and that's worked. So I've got a result back here from the API. Um, it can take up to uh, 20 seconds or so for a large report to generate. Um, so, but a small report will be more or less instant uh, and you'll get back a JSON object that looks like this and it'll tell you whether the report is complete or not. If the report's not complete, um, the percentage complete will be less than 100%. Um, and you'll be able to um, query the object again to see whether it's whether it's finished or not. Um, once it's finished, you'll get a um, this object here. And what you can do is you can access the actual report by making a, a simple request, a GET request to the URL here. And by making a request to that, you'll get all of the information that was in your um, uh, in the, the, that corresponds to the fields you've requested. 
um, as, a, as that flat CSV format returned back so that you can make use of it. So that's kind of the high level um, of, of how the API works. Um, and yeah, this is a sample response response here. And what it will do though, is point you to the API docs. So um, that was kind of the simplest possible API call that you can make. But you can include some optional parameters here. So um, I, I kind of just included the, the bare minimum, but there's a, um, there are other, you can see here in the docs, the other um, parameters you can use. And um, you can see all the information here, for example, the, the authorization header I used, the content type that you need to use, and you can see examples of the responses and more detailed information about how the, um, about what you get back and how everything works. So that is um, the reporting API in a very brief overview. Thank you very much.